What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'm going to talk about that leaked info that's uh, kind of revolving around Season 1 of Black Ops Cold War. In case you guys have not heard about it, there's been a lot of leaked stuff come out. Now of course you can take this all with a grain of salt. It is all leaked information. Nothing from Treyarch, nothing from Activision yet. No official word. We probably will get something next week within a trailer or whatever the case may be as it gets closer to launch day for Season 1. Before I get into all the details, make sure if you're not a subscriber, please take a second to subscribe. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top corner so you can get notified when everything goes live. If you enjoy the video, hit the like button, and of course check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. Now that that's out of the way, uh, there has been a lot of leaks, a lot of rumors, and of course, as you all know, as I've talked about in several videos, any video I've ever done where it talks about leaked information, some of this stuff could be true. Some of this stuff could be stuff that's left over game files. Some of this stuff could be, you know, something that's coming to the game later. Something could be codenamed differently. But it does seem like this is all pretty legit. Uh, there's a total of four new maps, which would be phenomenal if that is the case. Now, the question is, are all these maps going to be, you know, something for multiplayer? Are they going to be for zombies? Are they going to be for, you know, whatever the case may be? And one of them, of course, is rumored to be Rebirth Island. Now, Rebirth Island is Alcatraz from, uh, like, the Warzone kind of idea. Uh, so, a lot of people are assuming that Rebirth Island is going to have something to do with Warzone when Warzone drops with Season 1. So, that's one map that you kind of can take out of the equation altogether that's not going to be revolving around multiplayer specifically, like 6v6 or something. Uh, of course, there is another map called Launch. I'm not sure if this is going to be something that you know, is going to be um, a multiplayer map. It seems to be from all the, the, the rumors and, and words of, of what people have said. Uh, and also a very snowy map, which they did not have a name for, which kind of makes me wonder, is that going to be something legit or not? But at the same time, I know Treyarch likes snowy maps. We all have talked uh, or seen this in, in several uh, games in the years past. They always like maps with snow, and I've always enjoyed the maps they do with snow. The only problem is now compared to Years past, it's a lot harder to see people on the map compared to other uh, Treyarch games. So hopefully, you know, if it's a snow map, maybe it'll be something small. There's a lot of snow map. There's a lot of maps just in general, in my opinion, they can bring back. But we'll get into that here in just a second. And then, of course, uh, the map Raid. Now, Raid was a fan favorite. This would be one that is brought back. They did bring it back uh, a few years ago in one other Call of Duty title. I don't know if it was Black Ops 3 or what it was. I mean, it's been so many games over the years with so many remade maps. I can't really keep up with what game it was remade for. But the original raid map in Black Ops 2, I absolutely loved. So hopefully we can get something similar to that uh, brought to the game. If That would be really, really nice if that would be the case. Because I think raid would be not only a fan favorite, but probably one of the top picks every time it comes up in the map pool. That's how good of a map it is compared to what we have right now in game. Because there's not a lot of maps in game that are really, really great. Uh, of course, they did talk about some other things coming. Uh, the skin for Adler, emblems, calling cards, uh, points coming with the starter pack. Of course, we've also heard about a couple weapons, a maybe hybrid AR sub or just a sub or AR because it's really not been titled in any of the game files of exactly what it is. Also, the talks of the striker shotgun. Of course, I'm sure most of you have seen that season one kind of, you know, poster logo, you know, the thing they put out every year that has the, you know, everything that's coming with this, you know, with that particular season, you know, with like the roadmap on it. Um, and it does have Adler holding what looks to be a striker shotgun. So a lot of people are assuming that's going to be coming this season. I'm going to kind of be curious to see what all they do with the maps. Like we talked about in the video I made just a couple of days back, they need more map content. That is the one thing that is really concerning to me is there's not enough maps for 6v6. I do enjoy the 6v6 a lot more than I enjoyed Modern Warfare 6v6. Uh, I played a lot of 6v6 when it came to uh, BO4, BO3. I've always enjoyed the 6v6 maps in Treyarch games, and that is the reason some of the Treyarch games are my favorite Call of Duties of all time. Um, I feel like the addition of Raid would really be nice. I, I think, honestly, they could have probably remastered five or six like really classic BO1, BO2 maps. Maybe some of the newer ones they did in Black Ops 3 or 4. There's a few decent ones there. I think they could have probably put four or five of those in right off the bat to kind of make the map, map pool larger when the game was released. I don't think anyone would have had a problem with that. Uh, of course, you know, usually when it comes to free, uh, free DLC, we do get a lot of remastered maps, and I don't know why that is. I, it just seems like nobody makes great maps anymore. I'm not sure what it is. Infinity Ward does not. You think about some of the classic COD 4, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3 maps. 
None of those, you know, none of those kind of maps are made in, in Infinity Ward games anymore. If you look at Modern Warfare uh, from last year, uh, if you look at past Treyarch games, uh, Black Ops three and four, there were some remastered maps in there, some decent maps that were made in my opinion, but nothing that stands out like things from Black Ops one or two. So I think you could really remake a lot of these maps, and people would probably be happy with it, considering the map pool is already so small. But like I talked about in my past video, we're not exactly sure you know what all they're going to make each season are they going to make a map for 6v6 are they going to make a map for combined arms are they going to make a map for dirty bomb are they going to have to make a map for zombies because if they are they're going to have to make a lot of different maps for different modes and if that is the case then you're going to look at probably only one map for each mode which is kind of a disappointment i like i said i, I would be completely happy with them bringing out a bunch of remastered maps for 6v6 just to give us a bigger larger map pool I think you could even consider taking some of the older maps, uh, remaster maps, and using them in the pro league. I know the pro players talking about there's not a lot of a map, you know, kind of not a big map pool now either. And that was one thing in the pro league last year that I didn't like with Modern Warfare. It was the same map over and over. No matter if they were playing Hardpoint, no matter if they were playing Domination, no matter if they were playing uh, Control this year, or if they were playing uh, S and D, you see the same maps over and over in the pool. And I think eventually it's going to get like that anyway. I think eventually in the future, Call of Duty is pretty much going to turn into remastered maps every year because it seems like they just can't make maps like they used to most of the new maps that are in the game a lot of people don't like there's only a few maps in this game that i really enjoy right now in cold war the rest i talked about before miami cartel most people don't even like those at all uh so we'll kind of have to wait and see what happens with this season one update but i said i just want to bring you guys a video kind of letting you know about that leaked info like i said it is all uh, just leak so take it with a grain of salt who knows if this stuff will all come true hopefully it will it does seem pretty legitimate so i always try to bring you guys yeah, videos here on the channel uh when i see when i see things that seem like they could be you know a, a good chance of, of happening anyway of course leave me a comment with your thoughts and if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you all next time peace